Hi everyone, this is Steve with Otaku Henshin. I finally got in the Cure Twinkle figure arts last week. She was just released in January. Also, Cure Mermaid was finally announced to be released in June as well. So we're going to take a look at Twinkle today and see how she compares with Cure Flora that we just recently reviewed. As usual, we have the standard box. You can see the Cure Twinkle here and again in Katakana. You can see one of her poses here. As usual, we have different poses on the sides. Look at the top. And as usual, not much to see down at the bottom. You can see over here it says Kirameku Hoshi no Princess Cure Twinkle. And again, as usual, our different facial expressions are being shown off right here on the box as well. So let's go ahead and open her up and take a look at what she comes with. As usual, we have our instructions, which amusingly has a lot of may rub off, may rub off <laughs> comments here. So just like Flora, it seems kind of concerning that those are saying that. I actually haven't gone back and looked too closely at the instructions for the other ones that possibly some of the older ones had that on them as well. It might not be a new thing. But anyway, we can see the different faces here. We can see the Crystal Princess Rod and the Princess Perfume. Here is the one piece of the stand, and then on the back we have the base of the stand. So let's go ahead and take a look at each piece individually now. So first, let's just take a quick look at the stand. You can see the Go Princess Precure Cure Twinkle. And here's the different variety of hands that she comes with. You can see some of the different poses you can use with that between having fists, open hands, ones to hold the rods and the perfume, etc. So they actually have a little bit of a, a different tint to them. Flores were more of a kind of pearl look, I'd say. These ones have kind of a tint of yellow. Here is the princess rod. See, this actually does come out. Same with the Princess Perfume here. Here's the usual extra neck piece. And then starting to look at the extra faces, I'm not really sure exactly what you'd call this particular expression. And we have a happier one here. And then another one, this one with her eyes closed. And here is Twinkle herself. Take a look at her face here. And you can see the crown. The back of her hair here, you can see none of this actually moves, but on the ends here, these do move and can twist as well. And she has obviously the typical motion in her head and in her upper body here. And then in the waist, legs, knees, ankles, the arms obviously with the wrists and elbows. So it seems like her wrist doesn't want to move too much for me without the hand popping off. And of course, I'm kind of annoyed again that since we have this hard plastic here, that you really can't do much as far as a kick. Their legs will not go out. It's just the same as Flora. So I'm assuming Mermaid is going to be the same as well. The only thing you could really maybe do is something like on the side like that. Let's just take another quick look here just at her outfit. And of course we just pop off the front here to change the face. And there she is with a different expression. 
So let's go ahead and get her in a couple poses and take a look at what she can do. Here we have her in the roll call pose. Here's another pose with the princess rod. Here's another one from the stock photos with her with that happy face, their eyes closed. Luckily, for whatever reason, it seems like Twinkle has a much easier time holding the princess perfume, so I can actually get her in this pose without too much difficulty. And as usual, I just like to have at least one action pose. So unfortunately, Twinkle did suffer from a lot of the same design issues that Flora did. For one, as I mentioned about the leg not moving forward very far. The other issue being that the stand cannot properly grab her waist because of the bow in the back of her outfit versus the one in the front on Flora. Because of the way you have to angle it, it does get in the way of the hair usually, so turning the head becomes a big issue. I really wish that they would change the way that they do these stands. If you guys are familiar with how the Figmas are, it's just a peg that goes into their back. And then not only does that make it a lot easier to maneuver it around, but also you don't have to see the plastic around their waist and it makes it a little bit more realistic looking if say you were going to have a fight scene or something without taking away that realism having these stands in your face that they're obviously there. Maybe someday they will make a change to their stand. I don't know if it's just something to do with the fact that the Figmas have some sort of stand patent. Who knows? But unfortunately, we're kind of stuck with this as of now, since I don't think that anyone but Bandai has the rights to do figures like this for Precure. As I mentioned, Mermaid is coming out in June. And then we also have Cure Muse to finish up the set for the Sweet Precure ones. She's coming out in March. And then we have Cure Ace coming out in May to finish off the Doki Doki set. Also, as an added note for those of you that are looking forward to Cure Cure Precure a la mode, we do have a lot of the new items coming in between both the plushies and the Nari Kiri items. They're set to release right around the airing of the first episode, so we'll likely have them in either that following week or the week after. We'll definitely make a big announcement once we have all the items in stock. I'm also going to make sure to review each of the Narikiri items, starting off with the sweets pack. Make sure to check out our website, otakuhenshin.com, for not only Precure items, but also tokusatsu and anime. You can find our links for Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Tumblr in our description of the video. And as always, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.